Hey, long time no see, right? Let me explain. But before I do, P.O. Box is in the description below. Send us something. The P.O. Box closes in a couple months, so make sure if you guys want to send anything to send it, please. Thank you very much. It's been like two weeks, I believe, since Avery was born, and um, a bunch has happened. And I recorded a few things here and there, but I just never had the time to edit a vlog and do it because we've been trying to catch up on sleep, man. Um, luckily for me, I've been doing a lot better on sleep. Alexis, not so much. I remember the first couple of days with Alexis, she was very, I guess, pissed off at me because I, I didn't let her be a mom. I was like always on top of her, like making sure everything was okay. But then I'm like, what am I, what am I doing? Like, I'm supposed to let her do her mom duties, whatever. I'll do the dad duties. I never had a baby. That, that, that's the crazy thing. So this new parenting thing is, it's, it's tough, man. Uh, we're doing okay. Um, we haven't been uploading because there's no time. I <laughs> literally, it's like 11 o'clock right now. Avery, Alexis still hasn't eaten yet. And we're just trying to have to like come up with a routine that we could do and we still haven't come up with one. Also, not only that, our baby is a little bit jaundiced. For those of you who don't know what jaundice is, it's where your skin is all yellow, your eyeballs of um, the white areas is all yellow. And that's because um, his bilirubin is high. Don't worry, he's a lot better. Um, so we were stressed about that. I remember the first doctor's appointment we went to. People there, look look at my hair, right? You think this is bad? You should have seen it at the doctor's office. Uh, when we went there, Alexis and I uh, have only slept for like four hours that day or two hours or three hours, something crazy like that. And we were all tired, exhausted, and we went to the doctor's office and people there were looking at us. Alexis' hair was a big mess too. And people were looking at us and this lady comes up, up to me with like three grown um, kids. She told me, don't worry guys, it gets better. I'm like, man, do we look that terrible that people were actually looking at us and and telling us, don't worry, it gets better. I do not know what this channel is going to be once we get a routine going. Um, I still plan to upload every week. I didn't tell you guys this or tell anyone this, but... Only like a family and friends on Twitter and Facebook and stuff, but I was supposed to be on a TV show. We we were supposed to be on a TV show. We got offered a deal on Up TV. It was gonna be for this March to be on TV. I think it's a. It was gonna be called Expecting. They told us to film um, during her whole pregnancy and do all this stuff, which we did. There's still a bunch of footage that I haven't shown you guys and. I got a flash drive to put all that footage in and send it out to them. And today, or earlier this week, I asked them. And they said, oh, the person in charge of um, that TV show is no longer... Uh, is she moved on to a different project or whatever. And I'm like, well, hello. It would have been nice for you guys to tell us that. I wouldn't have to keep filming a bunch of pregnancy stuff or whatever and save it on my flash drive. It would just accumulating so i guess that deals off the market but that sucks too because we also got an offer on i don't know is on cnn rattled i think it was called her pregnancy was too close to that show time or whatever and i think it was more competitive there but that kind of like it was a knife in my stomach is like man i was really looking forward to it like this was actually gonna be our big break like where we actually get noticed out there on TV world, YouTube land, Never Never Land. It sucks. It really sucks. I thought this was it. I thought I'm like, man, after finally two years, that didn't happen. So that's a big low blow, but I don't feel discouraged. I'm still going to upload. I'm still going to do all that. That's my little update for today. A, a little bit of rambling. Um, we'll get the hang of things. I'll start vlogging here and there. Not only I'm looking at this as the glass um half full that's a good one right <laughs> i i think that um this tv show was holding me back a little bit um because it was just like this channel was just focused on like 
oh the baby this pregnancy that i couldn't do really much challenges or do a bunch of like editing i kept i'm sure you guys noticed i kept putting in the same clips over and over because i knew that i wasn't supposed to edit my own video so i just put it out or whatever but that's gonna change man um i finally get to do me i finally get to do what this channel um is meant to be doing like edit it the right way edit it correctly it's always um quality over quantity remember that this is what happened after we got out the hospital, I know it's been two weeks since we got out the hospital, but your boy's been sleep deprived. I, I this is what I got here, and we'll see you guys next week. Every Wednesday, I'm gonna try to upload every Wednesday. PO box is in the description below. Send us a card. Thank you very much. See you guys next week. Hey Jay, you ready to get out of here? You want to go home? Meet your dog. It's been a long three days. Let's go home. Babe, let's go home. Show me how to put them in the car seat because I've only done it one time. Please don't cry. Please don't cry. He's so tiny. He might be too big. <laughs> yeah, we have to listen at first. We you should call the nurse to see if you're doing all right. Yeah, we'll call her. <laughs> we'll be right back. How you doing back there? Okay. He likes the car seat, huh? Yeah, but we put him in kind of quick. <laughs> We're learning, man. It's a learning experience. Because <laughs> the one seat both sides the other one's too loose. And he's kind of crooked in here. I mean, they checked it. He should be okay. Good thing we don't live like 10 hours away or something. We're going home. This is crazy. It's my bed. Me too. I just want to lay in it. I just want to shower. Me too. Haven't showered shower. in like, haven't showered in like 86 hours or something like that. Yes, you did shower. <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. Let's see how Sparky see. reacts. We are home. <sighs> I drove like literally 20 miles an hour <laughs> during the whole way. Child safety lock already. You can't even open the door. <laughs> Why am I locked in? I don't know. Your child safety locked me, guys. Your child safety hey, locked me. Hey, I'm prepared now. Leave him covered up right now. Hi, Sparky. Yes. Yes. It's mom. I missed you. He's spelling me like, where have you been? Who's this? Who's this? Dog. He doesn't even care. I don't think he knows. He's like, we got a treat. <laughs> Man, look at him just minding his own business. Okay. I know, we have him covered though. People let me tell you about my best friend. He's a warm hearted person who loved me till the end. People let me tell you about my best friend. He's a one boy, cuddly toy. My up, my down, my pride and joy. People let me tell you about him. He's so much fun. Whether we're talking man to man or whether we're talking. It's your brother. It's your brother. He's indifferent. <laughs> no, he don't care. He don't care. He's like, whatever. I thought he was going to be jumping around I'm all happy. He was more happy to see you. He's like, okay. All right, play fetch. <laughs> oh, he's never uh, seen me. He's more excited to see me. <laughs> yeah. Is this a... What's that noise? What's that? What's that crying? He just saw him running around yeah. trying to look for him. What is that? Hey everyone, so today is our first day starting right now. 
or baby's first day in her house. Well, not and let me tell you, man. Day. Not first day. Well, it is first day. First day waking up here. Okay. Okay. But we stayed here half a day last night. And let me tell you, last night was a good night. He slept good. I thought he was going to cry. He was really good. The only thing we're concerned about right now is his peeing and pooping. Um, he's not really pooping. Which is, for most people, will say, oh, that's good. I don't have to clean, clean up diapers and stuff. But at a certain point, that's concerning. So we call the doctor, they told us instructions, so we have to monitor what's um, his intake and outtake right now. And it's not like he's not eating, he's, man, he's he's going down, he's going to town. It's just that nothing's coming out yet, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to regret it later on. For the most part, man, look at him. See? <laughs> he's not coming out at he's like, look, He opened wait. his eyes. What's up? I still can't believe we made this. Still mind blowing. Um, I haven't slept that well. So my eyes will always look like this, I guess, from now on. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> yeah, she hasn't slept either, man. It's like, okay, so last night was our first night here, right? It feels like a shift. Alexis has the day shift and I have the night shift. So I'm awake at night. And it wasn't bad. It wasn't really bad at all. Uh, for the most part he slept that's pretty much it and we got this little thing here just to check his uh, oxygen level and heart rate and stuff so we can sleep better in, during the night yeah. and if something happens god forbid it would alarm us and we could attend do cpr whatever we have to do well me i haven't taught alexis how to do cpr yeah, yet yeah. um but for the most part it's been yeah, it's been great it's great being a dad and great being a parent. Yeah, this is three months. <laughs> Man, boy, you fit in a three-month-old? Jeez. The newborn is tight on him. Like, 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 it fits him, but, like, it fits him, like, right on his body. Like, it shows his leg muscle and everything. This one, at least he has a little room in it. Wow, he fits in a three-month-old. He's very tall. <laughs> Long. I'm telling you, man, this little guy's going to be an athlete. Most likely a baseball player. I could see him grow to be 6'3", 250, throw 95 miles an hour, crazy curveball. It's only a matter of time. I'm not a gambling man, but if I was, I'd probably put 100 bucks that he'll be drafted by a major league team. I think I win a couple thousand dollars if that comes true. So might as well, right? I mean, that's all I'm going to be teaching him, baseball. He's going to be watching baseball sports with me all the time. That's what, um, one great thing about having a boy first. I don't want to do no daddy-daughter tea time right now. I don't want to... <laughs> daddy-daughter tea time? Well, I don't know. I mean, for me, it's, I think it's going to be an easier bonding experience having a son. That's just me. If I had a girl, I think... Well, I don't know. You don't know. You don't know how it is. It's different. It's a different type of bonding. Yeah, so we'll see what happens, man. For now, he's he's, he's one tall baby. He's a stressful baby, I'll tell you that much. But I know I, I said that I was going to try to vlog every single day during his stay here. But man, I cannot even sleep. So <laughs> I, I can't. I thought I was going to be able to do it. But taking care of a baby is, is, is tough, man. I don't have really much time to pick up the camera and talk because you're constantly doing something with the baby but we'll see what else should we give him a bath today his first bath no you should until sunday sunday yeah. sunday first bath tomorrow it's gonna be done by me tomorrow yours truly his first bath done by his daddy what's up anyways see you guys in a bit